stone. That flower. It's wilted. I should have known. He told me of this. Willie, Wong, open the door. Let's get out of here. Wait, Mr. Andrews. Through that door. Open that window. Quick, Willie. Yes, I'll have a box there. Oh, Lady Jones, please to recover. Newspaper business all shot to pieces without you. It's all to Mr. Andrews grief-stricken. This lonely person desolate. Jones, are you all right? What did you mean when you said you should have known? He told me of that liquid. It gives off a deadly gas at a temperature of 250 degrees. Oh, then you knocked that Bunsen burner out just in time. Jones, come out of it. You have to. Don't you understand? If, if anything happened to you, I, I couldn't go on. I'm oh, Do you mean that? Honest? Say, were you playing possum? It's not your turn to ask questions till you answer mine. Did you mean what you said? Forget it. You suppose it's possible that this evil personage is still on the premises? It is unlikely, Doctor, since he set that trap for us. At any rate, I'll seal up this den so he can't get back to his contraptions. Is there a phone handy? Yes, Captain, in my apartment. I must have had a whiff of that gas myself. Nonsense? It didn't sound like nonsense to me. And don't forget, I have a witness. A witness? Say, what is this? Am I on trial? Yes, I want 35 first and now eight clothes over the rack. Couldn't get in or out of it. All clear, sir. Yes, and arrest anyone who tries without a pass from me. Miss Wayne. Oh, absolutely. You'd better go back to your newspaper office at once. Mr. Wong will accompany you. Oh, but, 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 but... There are no blocks. We're going to investigate this place. Oh, but you need me, Captain. I've been all through this place several times. I want to help. You're going to help. You heard Mr. Rokoff's description of this man, Potan. I want that description to appear in this afternoon's edition of your paper. We'll fix it so that man can't find a hiding place in this city without danger of being identified. Honest, Captain. You're smarter than I thought you were. Here, I'll give you a pass so you and Wong can get out of Chinatown. Down the east corner. Right, Sergeant. Charlie, you hold down the east corner. Right. Jack, you uh, watch the alley. Okay. Here. No. Wong, you take it. She'll lose it. Think over what you said to me, Marty. If you want to go back on your word, of course, there's nothing I can do about it. If you don't clear out of here, I'll make a speech before witnesses that you beg me to take back. Ladies and... Ms. Rokoff, will you show us this rabbit warren? Certainly. This way, Captain. Oh, Captain. Yes? Don't you think it'd be safe to throw in that bull switch? I'll do it. possessed of great astuteness, has now left for part unknown. But he can't get out of the city. Walter has men at the airports, the docks, and the railroad stations. All the roads leading out of town are being patrolled. I can't imagine where the man would hide. You know this room, Captain Walter. Yes. The pit in which your unfortunate friends were thrown is here. Dave. Yes. 
ancient fable of man seeking lost horse. Well? Man imagined himself horse, then go where horse would go. Well, imagining myself to be for town, I would think I was least likely to be looked for at Sonia Rokov's uptown apartment. Detective is the room that beautiful chrysanthemum in your honor of head. We will go tell Captain Waters of this noble crew. No. We may be wrong. We'll work this out on our own. Fortunately, they survived. Due to Gallon and Mr. Andrews. Captain Walters, I have a hunch I'd like to play if you'll pass Willie and I out of Chinatown. All right. And when you get out, stay out. I'll have my men search this place thoroughly. Mr. Rokoff, I wonder if you'd let me have the key to your apartment. Of course. But why? You don't think... Now, I might be able to pick up a clue. I'll let you know if anything further develops. Thanks. I don't think you two will be of any further use here. Dr. Wu, will you please stay at your quarters where we can reach you? I'll drop you at the clarion office. Give Miss Whiting any further details that you think will aid us in the search. Oh, kill it. If this Chinatown story breaks, we're going to need a lot of space. Nothing. Make it sinister. Well, according to Miss Rokoff, it's even more than that. That's it. Make it more sinister than sinister. Stop. Healy, draw those curtains. Sit down, Grogan. There. Oh, the police seem sure to come here. I'm not going to advise me. Oh, no. No, you got me wrong. I only thought... You saw. So did Groben. I took steps to see that he stops thinking. Look at him. And if you make it necessary, I can arrange to put him in the same state of blissful helplessness. Oh, no. Not that. I'm here to take on it. I'm going to get you out of this jam. Then watch the street from the window and take care. You shouldn't be seen. Yeah, sure. I think we'd better go the rest of the way on foot. I'll go in the front way. You go in the back. This lowly houseboy begs you to disagree. Great American motto say, in union there is strength. I think better we go together for mutual safety. Yes, well, when we went in one way, Portman would go out the other way. Hurry now. All right, Honorable Buster. Well, does that cover it? Excellently. Miss Whiting has written a very vivid description of Victor Potan. There, Mr. Harrison. Do I get a raise? Don't bother me now. I'm busy. Coffee, boy! Coffee!
thanks for the boost, Miss Rokoff. It means a lot. Not to myself. But I am worried about Mr. Andrews. What about him? He's gone to my apartment. He thought he might find a clue. He thought he might find Potan there. Did he go alone? No, he took Willie Fu. It is unlikely that Potan would go there. Of course it is. That's just why Potan would choose it. Because it is unlikely. Hurry, my car is outside. Look, there's a five. Fools will kill themselves. Oh, look, Why don't they get back away from that edge? What the heck? What the I said, I want to place. It's Marty. And Gogan. He'll kill him. Marty, look out! 